Shabbat Shalom. 
Shri Mataji, you are welcome to our morning meditation. After completing the 10 days of worship of our Divine Mother in the form of Shidurga. Let us all place our attention on our heart. And let us express our devotion by doing a namaskar in our heart to our Divine Mother. We own everything to Shimadaji, the highest gift that she has given to humanity and to us as well is self-realization. Thank you, Shimadaji, for raising us so high in the realm of Sahasrara. Now let us place our right hand on the Mother Earth, our attention goes to the Muladhara Chakra. We still feel the devotion in our heart. And we express it in our Muladhara Chakra. Shimadaji, please make us pure. And innocent. Shimadaji, please let this innocence lead us away from materialism. We are the pure spirit, like Shri Ganesha. Shri Ganesha Mantra. Om Tvameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Niramala Devi Namo Namaha Let us become aware of the cool vibrations in our Muladhara Chakra. And let us absorb the peaceful state Shikanesha in our Puladhara Chakra. Mm -hmm. 
Now let us place our right hand back on the lap. Our attention goes to the central channel. We try to feel the central channel from the sacrum bone. Upwards. Our attention goes through our Svadhisthan chakra along the spine at the back side of our body. Our attention is moving along the backbone. And then we reach the Nabi chakra. Our attention goes to the void, to the upper part of the void. And then our attention moves to the Anaha Chakra. And then to our Vishuddhi Chakra. And then it reaches Agya Chakra. Here we stop for a while. To establish peace in our being, in our mind. And then our attention moves to the Brahmaradra opening. And then it goes a little bit higher. Then 15 centimeters above the top of our head. And from this point, let us enjoy the whole Sushumna channel. Our attention is absorbed by the Sushumna channel. In our Sushumna channel, there is only peace, silence. And a deep feeling of security given by our mother Kundalini.
Mantra for Shri Gauri Kundalini Mata. Om Mataji, please establish the Nirmala state in our Sushum Nanadi. Now we can place our right hand on the central heart. <clears throat> Let us feel the strength. of our Divine Mother Shri Durga after having worshipped her for 10 days, 10 nights. Let us feel that we are the child completely surrendered to his, her mother. Oh, Divine Mother doesn't give us only protection. She gives us the highest knowledge of being the self, the pure spirit. With full gratitude, let us take Sri Durga Mata Jagadamba Mandra. Om. Shri Durga Mata Jagadamba Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Niramada Namaha We place our right hand back on the lap and now let us listen to the divine words, divine knowledge given to us by Sri Bhattaji.
today we have gathered here to do the puja of the Devi. The Devi has many forms, but it's the embodiment of the Shakti. Adi Shakti gives Shakti to all these embodiments. And so there are many goddesses we have at different times. They came on this earth and did all that was necessary for the ascent of people who were seekers. Especially the one we know of, Jagadamba, the Durga. She was trying to protect all the seekers of Truth and to destroy all evil forces. Because without the ascent of human beings, they do not know the Truth. And that's why whatever they try to do is a mental projection. And this mental projection, if it is not substantiated by Truth, by dharma, it declines. In Sanskrit they call it glani. <coughs> when this glani takes place, <coughs> then incarnations are born to solve the problem. <coughs> In all incarnation of the Goddess, <coughs> there have been very much incarnated the satanic forces. They had incarnated and she had to fight them, with them and destroy them. But this destruction was not for the destruction's sake that the evil forces are to be destroyed, but evil forces always try to put down the seekers, put down the saints, try to har harm them, sometimes even destroy <coughs> All these destructive forces do not come at the same time, normally, at different times. It's easy to handle. But the aim <coughs> of the Incarnation is to save, to protect the people who are seekers, because they are the most important people in the realm of spirituality. All others are nothing but dust, good for nothing, useless. If they are not seeking the Truth, in the eyes of God they are just useless uh, lives that have come and will be finished. They have no value and they have no dignity, they have no understanding of anything. <coughs> so in the judgment of the Divine Love, we have two types of people. One who are seekers of Truth and the another who are not. They may be good people, they may be nice people, they may be doing a lot of good work, social work, this work, missionary work, every sort of work they might be doing. But if they are not seeking the Truth, then they do not come to that category where God has to incarnate. So try to understand the preciousness, the importance of seekers. And that's what you have been seeking. Very few persons, if you take the percentage of seeker, 
is very, very wee bit. But it's very important because, say, a one little part of gold is much more valuable than bonds of steel. In the same way, a seeker is much more valuable in the growth of spirituality. The whole universe was created, whole <coughs> atmosphere was built, all the evolution took place for what? That human beings should know the truth. But in the modern atmosphere, it's a very big curse, I think the greatest evil than all the shumbani shumbas and all that. The worst of all is materialism, because materialism makes you gross. In your seeking also when you are rising, subtly that materialism catches you. I've been noticing this. When people come to Sahaja Yoga, right, they are going deep into themselves, they are understanding what I'm saying, all the inner knowledge <coughs> they want to know, what is called as Atmagyan. Atmagyan means two things, the knowledge about the Spirit and knowledge about yourself. All this they find out and they know what it is. This state is the state for which people have been doing all kinds of things, going to the Himalayas, meditating in the cold without much clothes on them, living in the caves with some fruits. All kinds of tapasyas they would do because the seeking was so deep, so urgent, and they could not get out of that force of seeking. But in the modern times, materialism retards that hankering that dedication. It's maddening for people when they are seekers. I've seen before coming to Sahaja Yoga, people spend lot of money, go to various places, go to Himalayas, go to Nepal, go to Japan, all over the places they are moving. But after coming to Sahaja, after they have become the spirits, for the growth of your new awareness, the progress is retarded. Also, one should understand that after so much of running about, you find something so precious, so you settle down and you feel very satisfied about it. That part is all right. But what later? Your growth should not stop. And that stops because, because of one of the main reasons is materialism. Because of materialism, you, your faith in yourself is also less. Now, as you have seen that the gods prayed to the goddess and she came and killed all the negative forces. The reason was the earnest desire of the gods compelled her to take regardless. Such sincere desire also that they could not get sometimes food, even water, and they worked so hard 
to further ascent, which was disturbed by negative forces. So their call was so from the heart, so desperate and genuine and sincere that the Goddess had to take birth on this earth to save them, to protect them, to look after them. But as it is, we see, once you have reached a destination, you feel now better settled down. Now, what do you wish settle down with? If after getting Realization you are complete, you are in totality, you are absolutely one with Reality, there's nothing to be done. You become a saint and a saint does not need any advertisement, does not need anything. His message spreads, people see Him and know He is a great saint. So many saints did not even leave their houses. A very common saying in India, your takya you should not leave, that the pillow on which you are resting you should not leave. That was the criteria of a guru. Those <coughs> who have to see, should come to the Gurus, <laughs> climb up at least six, seven miles up, and then the Guru doesn't meet anyone. He may slap you, he may hit you, he may drop you from that high mountain. He'll take your test by so many ways. Ultimately, he may select one person to give realization. So this hankering, this desperate effort was all the time there. Now, so we come to Sahaja in this modern time. Sometimes I feel that not only Sahaja Yoga is very easy, also it is extremely pampering. You know you have got Realization. You all know that you are better than others, that you have got rid of so many problems and that now you have become master of your own. श्री दुर्गा के बत्तीस नाम ओम दुर्गा दुर्गा शमनी दुर्गा पद्मी निवारिणी दुर्गम छेदिनी दुर्ग साधिनी दुर्ग नाशिनी दुर्ग तो धारिणी दुर्ग निहंत्री दुर्ग मापहा दुर्ग मज्ञान दा दुर्ग दैत्य लोक दानला दुर्गमा दुर्गमा लोका दुर्गमात्मस्वरूपिणी दुर्गमार्ग प्रदा दुर्गम विद्या दुर्गमाश्रिता दुर्गम ज्ञान संस्था दुर्गम ध्यान भासिनी दुर्गमोहा दुर्गम गा दुर्गमाथस्वरूपिणी दुर्गमासुर संहंत्री दुर्गमायुधारिणी 
दुर्गमांगी दुर्गमता दुर्गम म्या दुर्गमेश्वरी दुर्ग भीमा दुर्ग भामा दुर्ग भा दुर्ग दारिणी नामावली मऊयस्तु दुर्गा या मम मानव पठे सर्वयान्मुक्त भविष्य न संशय साक्षादिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देव्यय नमो नमः The Kavach of the Devi Om Salutations to Shri Ganesh Salutations to Shri Saraswati Salutations to Shri Guru Salutations to the deity worshipped in the family of the Dev Shri Madhaji Nirmala Devi. May there be no obstacles. Amen. Salutations to Shri Narayana. Amen. Salutations to Shri Vishnu. Amen. Salutations to Goddess Saraswati. Salutations to Sage Vyasa. Here begins the main part of the Devi Kavach. The presiding sage of Shri Chandikavach is Brahma. The meter is Anushtup. The presiding deity is Chamunda. The main seed is Anganya Sokta Matar. The principal is Digbandha Devata. It is recited as part of the Saptashati, the 700 verses in praise of Shri Durga to please Shri Jagadamba. Amen. Abeyasans to Chandika. Thus spoke Markandeya. Amen. O Brahma Deva, please tell me that which is very secret and has not been told to anybody, and which protects all beings in this world in every way. Brahma Deva said, O Brahmin, that which is most secret, auspicious, and benevolent to all beings. is the kavach of the devi please listen to that o great sage first shailaputri the daughter of the mountain om shi shailaputri namaha second brahmacharini the one who observes the state of celibacy om shri brahmacharini namaha third chandraganta adorned with the moon as her bell om shri chandraganta namaha fourth kushmanda the one whose void contains the universe om shri kushmanda namaha fifth skandamata the mother of kartikeya Om Shri Skanda Mata Namaha Sixth Katyayani the foster daughter of Sage Katyayana Om Shri Katyayani Namaha Seventh Kala Ratri the dark night of dissolution Om Shri Kala Ratri Namaha Eighth Mahagauri the Adi Kundalini Om Shri Mahagauri Namaha Ninth Siddhi Datri the bestower of special divine powers Om Shri Siddhi Datri Namaha Durga is known by these nine names as told by the great soul Brahma Deva himself 
those who are engulfed by fire, or surrounded by enemies on the battlefield, or being at an impassable place, or frightened, if they surrender to Durga, they would never suffer any misery or misfortune, even at time of war. They would face no calamity, grief, sorrow, or fear. Those who remember you with great devotion indeed have prosperity. Undoubtedly, O Supreme Goddess, you protect those who remember you. The Goddess Chamunda sits on the corpse. Warahi rides on a buffalo. Aindri is mounted on an elephant. And Vaishnavi on a condor. Maheshwari is riding on a bull. The vehicle of Kaumari is a peacock. Lakshmi, the beloved of Sri Vishnu, is seated on a lotus and is also holding a lotus in her hand. The goddess Ishwari, of white complexion, is riding on a bull. Brahmi, who is bedecked with all ornaments, is seated on a swan. All the mother goddesses are endowed with yoga and are adorned with different ornaments and jewels. All the goddesses are seen mounted in chariots and are full of anger. They are wielding conch, discus, mace, plough, club, javelin, axe, noose, barbed dart, halter, whip, trident, spear, bow and arrows. These goddesses are wielding their weapons constantly to destroy the bodies of demons, for the protection of devotees, and for the benevolence of the gods. Salutations to you, O goddess of very dreadful appearance, of frightening valor, of tremendous strength and energy, the destroyer of the worst of fears. O Devi, it is difficult to have even a glance at you. You increase the fears of your enemies. Please protect us. May Goddess Aindri protect us from the east. Agni Devata, Goddess of Fire from the southeast. Warahi, the Shakti of Vishnu in the form of the boar from the south. Ghadghadharini, the wielder of the sword from the southwest. Varuni, the Shakti of Varuna, the rain god from the west. Mrugawahini, whose vehicle is the deer, protect us from the northwest. May Goddess Kaumari, the eternal virgin, the Shakti Kartikeya, protect us from the north. And Goddess Shuladharani from the northeast. Brahmani, the Shakti of Brahma from above. And Vaishnavi, the Shakti of Vishnu from below, protect us. O Goddess Chamunda, who sits on a corpse, please protect us from all the ten directions. May Goddess Jaya protect us from the front, and Vijaya from the rear, Ajita from the left, and Aparajita from the right. May Goddess Udyotini protect the top knot, and may Uma cover our head and protect it. May we be protected by Maladhari on the forehead, Yashasvini on the eyebrows, Trinetra on the hamsa, Yamaganta on the inner part of the nose, Shankini on both the eyes, Dwarawasini on the ears, Mekalika protect our cheeks, and Shankari the roots of the ears. May we be protected by Sugandha, on the nose, Charchika, the upper lip, Amrutakala, the lower lip, Sarasvati, the tongue, Kaumari, the teeth, Chandika, the throat, Chitraganta, the sound box, Mahamaya, the crown of the head, Kamakshi, the chin, Sarvamangala, speech, Bhadrakali, the neck, Dhanurdhari, the spine. May Nilagriva protect the outer part of our throat, and Nalakubari, the windpipe. May Khadgini protect our shoulders, 
and Vajradharini protect our arms. May Devi Dandini protect both our hands, Ambika, the fingers, Shuleshwari, our nails, and may Kuleshwari protect our belly. May we be protected by Mahadevi, the breast, Shoka Vinashini, the mind, Lalita Devi, the heart, Shuladharini, the stomach, Kamini, the Nabhi, Vuyeshwari, the hidden parts, Putana Kamika, the reproductive organs, Mahisha Vahini, the rectum. May Goddess Bhagavati protect our waist, Vindhyavasini, the knees, the wish fulfilling Mahabala protect our thighs. May Narasimhi protect our ankles. May Tejasi protect our feet. Shri Devi protect our toes. May Talawasani protect the soles of our feet. May Donshtakarali protect our nails. Udvakeshini, the hair. Kauberi, the paws. Vagishwari, the skin. May Goris Parvati protect blood. Marrow of the bones, fat and bone. Goris Kalaratri, the intestines. Mukuteshwari, bile and liver. May Padmavati protect the chakras. Chudamani, phlegm or lungs. Jwalamukhi, luster of the nails. And Abhedya, all the joints. Brahmani, semen. Chhateshwari, the shadow of our body. Dharmadharini, ego, superego and intellect, the buddhi. Vajrahasta, prana, apana, vyana, udana and samana, the five vital breaths. Kalyana shobana, prana, the life force. Mayogini, protect the sense organs, that is the faculties of tasting, seeing, smelling, hearing and touching. Minarayani, protect sattva, raja and tamogunas. Varahi, life. Vaishnavi, dharma. Lakshmi, success and fame. Chakrini, wealth and knowledge. Indrani, relatives. Chandika, cattle or sustenance. Mahalakshmi, children. And Bhairavi, spouse. Supata may protect our journey, and Shemakari, our way. Mahalakshmi may protect us in the king's courts and all official places, and Vijaya, everywhere. O Goddess Jayanti, any place that has not been mentioned in the Kavach and has thus remained unprotected, may that be protected by you, the destroyer of sins. One should invariably cover oneself with this kavach wherever one goes and should not walk even a step without it if one desires auspiciousness. Then one is successful everywhere, in all things. All one's desires are surely fulfilled and that person enjoys great prosperity on the earth. The person who covers himself with kavach becomes fearless, is never defeated in battle and becomes worthy of being worshipped in the three worlds. This Devi Kavach is inaccessible even to the gods. One who reads with faith every day, thrice, morning, afternoon and evening, receives the divine arts, the Shaktis, is undefeated in the three worlds, lives for a hundred years and is free from accidental death. All diseases like boils, scars, etc. are destroyed. Movable scorpions and snakes and immovable all other poisons cannot affect him. All those who cast magical spells by mantras or yantras on others for evil purposes, all negative forces active in water or in the air, all kinds of boots roaming about the earth, all those who mesmerize others, all yakshas and gandharvas, all negative entities, all demons and evil forces are destroyed just by the sight of the person having covered in his heart. 
Whoever reads the Kavach with devotion, his dignity and prosperity increases. That person receives more and more respect and prowess. On the earth, he rises in prosperity and fame by reading the Kavach and the Saptashati and by meditating on Sri Chandi. His progeny would thrive as long as the earth is rich with mountains and forests. By the grace of Mahamaya, he would attain the highest state, which is extremely difficult even for the gods, and is eternally blissful in the company of Lord Shiva. Argalashtotram And it is recited for the love of Sri Jagadamba, the mother of the universe, as part of the Durga Saptashati. Amen. Salutations to Sri Chandika. Sri Markandeya spoke thus. O Goddess Jayanti, who wins everyone. Mangala, who gives salvation. Kali, Bhadra Kali, who is benevolent devotees. Kapalini, Durga, Shama, who tolerates everyone. Shiva, Dhatri, Swaha and Swadha, Salutations to you. Victory be to you, O Devi Chamunda. Victory be to you, O remover of miseries of all living beings. Victory be to you, O Devi, who is present everywhere. Salutations to you, O Kalaratri, the last night. Salutations to you, O Devi, the killer of the demon Madhu and Ketaba, and the bestower of boons on Sri Brahmadeva. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. Salutations to you, O Devi, the killer of Mahishasura, and giver of happiness to your devotees. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the killer of Raktabija, and destroyer of demons Chanda and Munda, Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the killer of demon Shumba, Nishumba, and Dumraksha, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, whose lotus feet are worshipped by gods and gives good fortune, please give us the spiritual personality the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, whose form and character are beyond the mind, who destroys all the enemies, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Chandika, the destroyer of sufferings, please give those who always humble before you in devotion the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Chandika, the destroyer of all diseases, please give to the devotees who praise you with devotion the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy their enemies. O Devi Chandika, please give those who always worship you with devotion in this world the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy their enemies. O Devi, please give us good fortune, health, complete happiness, spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, please destroy those who hate your devotees. Give us strength, the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, 
Please confer upon us the benevolence, great wealth, the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Ambika, your lotus feet are rubbed by the gems of the crowns worn by gods and demons. Please bestow upon us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, please make your devotees knowledgeable, glorified, and wealthy, and give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the destroyer of the ego of ferocious demons, O Chandika, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Parameshwari, the Supreme Goddess, having four arms and who is praised by the four-faced one, Sri Brahmadeva. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Ambika, who is ever praised with all devotion by Sri Krishna, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Parameshwari, the Supreme Goddess, who is praised by the husband of the daughter of the Himalayas, Sri Shiva, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Parameshwari, who is worshipped with true feelings by the husband of Indrani, Indra, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the destroyer of pride of demons by your strong arms, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory and destroy our enemies. O Devi Ambika, you enlighten the supreme joy, moksha, of your devotees. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let us keep our attention on our Sahasrama. Meditate in
नमस्कार कुंडलिनी